Yo, what is good, everybody? Dusty Four Kicks here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got the Barbershop Dunks in the black colorway. Let's go ahead and check them out. All right, guys. This pair comes from Coco. Information on the screen, so you can go ahead and check them out. First things first, we have the normal dunk box. It's not an SB, so it is just the orange box with Nike and the swoosh on top in white. As far as accessories go, we do have the little lace baggie. Again, it is in Nike SB for some reason, even though they're not SBs, but it is the little laces in that light blue. All right, so getting into these, there is a lot of detail to go over. Starting off from the back, you have this nice tumbled black leather you can see. You can see this brown or like a dark gray. I wanna say it's brown with the little designs, kind of like barbers put in the side or back or whatever in men's haircuts. You can see that it's trimmed with the cool blue, red, and white, like the barbershop poles that's there and there. Side panels and around the toe box and everything else, lace guard as well. Again, you still have that nice black tumbled leather, tumbled pebble around there. You can see the swoosh. It actually, if you zoom in close, has some detail to it. It's kind of like the honeycomb pattern. And that's in a nice light blue, kind of like the barbershop poles, just a little bit lighter. Midsole color, straight clean white, nothing too crazy. Outsole, you have that nice light blue once again with the Nike hit right there on the center. Come over to the toe box, you have that nice pebbled black tumbled leather once again. You can see that it has a nice little cool little dubre, which I thought was a nice touch. It is in silver, it's really shiny, so it's hard to see, but you can see it says Nike right there, engraved on the top. You have the black laces that come with it, but you already saw the light blue ones to match the swoosh. Black nylon tongue, not really padded or anything, pretty soft and thin, just like a regular dunk tongue should be. You got the black tongue tag with Nike, the swoosh, and trademark symbols in a bright, vibrant red. Inside of the shoe, you have a nice light blue sock liner. Same goes for the insole. You can see that honeycomb pattern kind of there again. And then Nike, the swoosh and trademark symbols in red once again, just like the tongue tag. Backside of the shoe, you'll see a little more of those designs that they put into men's haircuts usually. You'll see the barbershop poles. Really cool that they had the threading. It is obviously black under there, but the actual threading is red and blue. Again, kind of like the barbershop poles. You'll see the heel tab is that light blue once again, and just like the swoosh here, you can see it's got that nice honeycomb pattern, and then embroidered in a bright red is the Nike. Me side to finish it all up, you could see the brown or dark gray designs right there, like I said, in haircuts. You see the barbershop pole inspired little piping right there. You'll see the rest of the shoe is just a nice tumbled black leather, pebbled. And then you have the honeycomb pattern, light blue swoosh. All right, so as I'm filming this right now, these have yet to release in the US. Same goes for the gray suede colorway. I'm going to try to pick up both colorways as far as retail goes, but might not happen. You know how it goes on sneakers and Nike and stuff like that. But these, as soon as I saw them, I knew I had to have them. Little hits of blue are super, super sick, but the little, I can't remember, Dubre or whatever this is called, for the guard that goes on the razor when they're cutting your hair and stuff like that. Super, super sick. And then the designs back there, as far as like the designs that go in your hair, and then the cool little hit of the blue, red, white, like the barbershop poles. Everything, in my opinion, for these, they just went over and beyond, and I love it. I do wish it was an SB, because I do prefer the thicker tongue, but it is what it is. Might have to cop some reps of the gray pair too, depending on if I hit retail or not. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Are you rocking with these or are these a straight drop for you? Just like always, I really appreciate you guys coming over to the channel and hanging out for a bit. Till next time, I'm Dusty4Kicks. Peace. 